Hi everyone, it's Andrea, how are you? Today we are going to be making my absolute most favorite salad. It's a um, very simple recipe, just the way I really like to eat, just a few ingredients so that you really, really can enjoy the flavor of all of them individually. So what we have is hearts of palm, we have walnuts that I'm toasting on the oven and they're probably actually ready um, on the stove, I mean, and we have mixed greens and uh, avocado and we're gonna make a little quick lemon vinaigrette. Okay, so let me go get my walnuts real quick and then I'll tell you something. This is, and I'm gonna put these, when you toast walnuts, why don't we talk about this? When you toast walnuts, you can just throw them right on the stove top in a pan. You don't need any extra oil. The nut is full of oil, obviously. And it will just start to release this amazing aroma. And toasting nuts um, takes away any bitterness they might have, and it unleashes this earthy quality um, and really just kind of ups the game of any recipe. So for myself, I don't bother doing this, but for guests, I absolutely take the just a couple minutes to put it on low on the stove and toast it, um, which is a better method for me than like a toaster oven or um, when you're toasting sliver to almonds and I always ruin the first batch because I'm impatient and I do two things at once or pine nuts. You kind of have to watch it, but because walnuts are thicker, I have less of a chance of burning that with my multitasking. Anyway, okay. So again, let's just talk about, you know, I love to tell you the nutritional value of some of these things. This salad is amazing. If you don't know Hearts of Palm, Hearts of Palm is the heart of palm, um, different varieties of palm, but it, um, you can get them, I've never really seen them fresh anywhere. You get them in a jar, you get them in a can. I advise getting them in a jar, it's gonna be slightly less sodium than in a this, can. This uh, is the heart of palm, and it just slices really easily. It's a meaty vegetable. It's got a great little um, crunch to it, and um, it's, they're, that's just what you do. When you're making this, you can't not do that. You really can. I'm gonna make two plated salads, so I'm only gonna um, cut up three of these hearts of palm for this recipe today, but for guests, to serve four, I would cut um, this whole jar, okay? So this is, oh, about a half a cup of hearts of palm. This is only 35 calories, and I think we're getting about, mm, we're getting three or four grams of protein right here. Now your walnuts, as you know, super high in antioxidants, super high in protein, super high in good fat. So all we're gonna do is give these a nice little chop. Something you might not realize about walnuts is they're really good for your brain. Walnuts are brain food. Um, and they have, an, in addition to the antioxidant quality, um, melatonin in them, which just kind of helps regulate your sleep, as you know, and um, folate, there's vitamin E. Um, walnuts are just a fantastic food and they're considered a brain food. So we've given these walnuts a light chop. We have our hearts of palm and I'm gonna leave these in little clusters because I'm gonna actually plate this salad. So the last thing we're gonna do is just dice an avocado. I've already cut it um, and we're just gonna take this and this is basically my way of portioning for guests. So I know I want about a quarter of an avocado per plate and I'm gonna give that three slices and three across, uh, dice across, and then I'll uh, pull that out with a spoon when we're ready. So, now we are just about ready to make this amazing I'm making this just for me and a guest. I'm gonna use, um, and a guest that is nutritionally uh, concerned. <laughs> I'm gonna use um, mixed greens. and. Mixed greens are just uh, nutritionally uh, more optimal. You can see the colors in there, and basically anything that has a lot of deep, rich colors is going to be providing you more vitamins. So why not if you have the choice? But if I was making this for dinner guests and I wanted it to look really beautiful and impressive, it looks neater and it's prettier if you use butter lettuce, and butter lettuce is delicious. I love butter lettuce. Mm, yummy, yummy. Okay, so here's how we're gonna do this. We're gonna carefully scoop out our avocado, and we're gonna go one at a time. And you wanna plate carefully so that these ingredients um, separate and don't just kind of cluster. Okay, and now we'll take our hearts of palm, 
and you can kind of evenly spread that out. And you see these colors go together so beautifully. I love beautiful food. And I think, you know, the, this isn't, this is a scientific fact. Your body responds differently to what you think of your food and your metabolism works better. Um, I explain this more deeply in my book, but if you like what you're eating, if you're jazzed about it, your body responds in a much more efficient way than if you're kind of like, I'm eating bunny food because I'm trying to lose weight. If that's where you're at in your mind, your body's kind of like, yeah, my metabolism is going to have that same kind of uh, an attitude. Let's put it that way. Okay, so now we're gonna sprinkle the walnuts on and you can see this gives us, color-wise, a really gorgeous contrast. And look at how beautiful this salad is. I mean, just already, it's just, it's a gorgeous, beautiful, beautiful salad that's very impressive. And if you have those really solid butter lettuce leaves, then the, these ingredients really stand out even more. I never, ever, 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 ever use a bottle dressing. I, there's no reason to. And bottle dressings really, in my opinion, just ruin your beautiful fresh food. And a dressing really can always be as simple as some kind of an acid and your olive oil and just some cracked pepper, done. Sometimes I add salt, um, but in this case, we're already getting salt from this ingredient here. So if you look around, if you've included goat cheese or something in your salad, you're getting salt from that. You don't need to add it to your salad dressing. And if you buy a bottled dressing, first of all, there's a ton of sodium in it, but second of all, just read the ingredients. If you can tell me what they all are, you can have it, but most often you can't. Okay, here's our lemon trick. As I've discussed before, anytime you have citrus for a recipe, you wanna give it a good roll. You're gonna break up those fibers inside and start to release the juice before you even get to it. We'll give this a quick slice. And then all I do is have my bowl and I just kind of watch for the little pips in there and I'll pull them out with my spoon. Um, all we need to do to make your salad dressing is take olive oil and the key is to pour it super slowly while you whisk. So you have your nice wide bowl here and that's going to let you get air in this and then we're just gonna slowly, slowly, slowly pour our olive oil, here it comes, and gradually work that in and you're gonna create an emulsion out of this so that it's almost like the particles are even. <laughs> We're getting sciencey, right? I threw the word particles into a salad discussion. How about that? Okay, so now if you can see, I can give it a last little jujji. This is not my favorite whisk. I like a smaller whisk for this, but I put the wrong whisk in. Okay, perfect. And now if you can see that, that is just really nicely blended together. And um, that's all we need to do. So now we can take our little spoon and give it a drizzle. And you wanna be very careful not to overdress your salad. These are delicate greens. And that is the biggest mistake people make with a salad is overdressing it. And you can always leave extra in a ramekin on the table with a small spoon for if somebody wants some more, but add more, you can't take it away. Gorgeous crack of pepper. Not only is it delicious, it will look beautiful up against this gorgeous heart of palm. Okay. <sighs> love salad. I love this salad and I hope you all take the love salad into your home and start making it and enjoying it as well. We'll spread the love, okay?